Hey friends, I'm Joe Karlowski, the Super Brave Teacher, and today we are going to talk about the question that I ask myself every day. And maybe, just maybe, you want to ask yourself this question too. So by now, friends, you know I'm a reader. You can't teach kids to love reading if you're not a reader. So when I hear teachers say, um, I haven't read a book in years, I'm like, what? <laughs> read a book in years and you're teaching kids to read. Ah. Anyway, anyway, we're going to get to those judgments because I just finished the book, A Mind at Home with Itself by Byron Katie. I love Byron Katie. I love Byron Katie. If you read any books of Byron Katie right now, go pick up the book, Loving What Is, Loving What Is. Within this book, it says how asking four questions can free your mind, open your heart and turn your world around. And while I was reading this, I was having like visceral, visceral reactions to parts of this. I was just that person like, mm, mm, ooh, throughout the whole time I was reading it because these questions, this question is amazing and I wanna share it with all. Whenever I ask these questions or this question to myself, I have to do it for myself from a place of non-judgment and from a place of curiosity not a place of me trying to challenge it or find the one little crack in the question that I can get around it. Because the question, or in this case, the questions are here to strengthen myself and to, for me to learn, to learn about who I am. So here is the big question. Is it true? Is it true? Can you absolutely know that it's true? is the big question that this book asks and now that I've learned now that I've learned how to pause and ask myself that question it has shifted my life so let's talk about it just from a teacher's perspective there's a lot of shoulds that go through my head especially in teaching and especially with kids maybe you're not that way I sure am and a big thing that comes to my head is these kids should know how to do this by now especially right now, we are in February, almost in March. And something that is in my head is, these kids should know how to do this by now. They should know how to line up. They should know how to respect me. They should know how to be kind to each other. They should, they should, they should. So what's the question? Is that true? Can I absolutely know that's true? When I ask myself that question, I pause and I go into that space and I see my students misbehaving or not lining up or being really mean with each other. And that right away I'm like, yes, it's true. They should, they should do this. They should know this by now. It's February. And I keep pausing and I ask myself, can I absolutely know that that is true? That they should know this? And when I think of them, I have to answer no. It can't be absolutely true because guess what? They're not being kind with each other. They're not listening to me. They're not lining up correctly. They're not sitting still or whatever things I think they should know. So it can't be true. So let's just say that example, these students should respect me. Can it absolutely be true? No, because they're not, right? But then number three, the question number three from Byron Katie is, how do I feel when I believe the thought these students should know right now? These should, students should be respecting me. I get angry. I get resentful. I get this pit in my stomach. I feel like this tensing in my jaw and even in my ears, I feel the tension. And then the fourth question says, who would you be? How would you be? What would it be like? If you didn't have that thought, these students should be listening. These students should be respecting me. These students should know by now. I would feel present. I would feel like I could be my funny, kind self. I would feel that I could actually pay attention to what's actually going on so I would know what to do. I would feel calm. And then as you continue to ask these questions, you look for turnarounds. You look for opposites of what you're exclaiming. And then you wait for something funny to like pop up because like 
that humor, that gentleness pops up and you realize it's so much more true. So let's take that. These students should know better. What's a turnaround? These students shouldn't know better because they're five. I should know better because it's February. I shouldn't know better because I'm learning. <laughs> Do you see how those turnarounds seem so much more true because they're not wrestling with reality. They're not wrestling with what is. And then, and I'm doing this quickly. This is a process that should just, you should take a sweet time with it. And in fact, you should write it down. But then I get to do, I get to bring a sense of willingness and expectation. And I get to say, I'm willing, I'm willing for the kids not to get it. I'm willing for myself not to get it yet. And then, you wanna hear something crazy? You go the next step and you say, I look forward to the kids not getting it because I'm their teacher, that's my job. I look forward to myself not getting it because I'm a student of life, I'm always learning and I'm getting better and better each day. But do you see what those four questions did? It like took a situation that was so real and is, but really in my head, of should, 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 and it turned it into something that was gentle and kind and loving. So friends, I'm gonna encourage you to rock the question. Start with that first question, is it true? Then continue, can you absolutely know it's true? Then continue, how do you feel when you believe that thought that that's true? And then the final question, like I said, is who would you be without that thought? It should be this way, it should be this way. And then look for some gentle, beautiful turnarounds that usually are often more true and often quite funny because you realize it's my work to do. It's my work to do. So thanks for listening. Go get this book. Go get any of her stuff. She has an app. She has all this good stuff. It's not for everybody, but it's definitely for this super brave teacher. Want to let you know that you are awesome. You are appreciated. I appreciate you. You are valued, I value you, just because you are you. And Joel, you are enough, you are valued, because Joel, you are you. Is that true? I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Bye friends.